Harry and Meghan have done it again this weekend. They subjected us to an interview on CBS discussing cyberbullying and the online hazards for teenagers and children at large. Now, in discussing this interview, I actually want to take us back to Uvalde in 2022, when Meghan took it upon herself to travel three and a half hours in a private jet across the United States to Uvalde. And in doing so, she laid flowers on the grave, she walked on the grave, but she had her security and her cameras, no doubt. Netflix was among them. She caused a, she caused an absolute media storm with all of these photos on social media and in the media and she took a lot of heat for this but you see at the time the president and his first lady hadn't even visited Uvalde yet many celebrities had not gone to Uvalde they stayed away out of respect for the parents who'd lost their children here we are again in a, a TV interview with parents who've lost a child to suicide. Now, I know what I'm talking about when I talk about loss, the loss of a child. I've lost two out of my four sons, one 19 and the other 33. Now, the eldest one, 33, uh, that was a slow suicide. It literally was, and he had never recovered from the death of his brother. So you're going to get on TV and you're going to lecture me about cyberbullying. You're going to tell me that I need to be a first responder. You're going to express condolences for me when I've lost a child. Like, Harry is another kettle of fish. He lacks judgment and he's a lost soul. And it's never been more evident than in this interview. But Megan, now this is a different this is a different creature. This woman has no empathy. If you remember on Remembrance Day, the cemetery was closed while they lay flowers on two graves. They walked over graves, they took their photos, and the public rightly complained because they closed the cemetery for them to do this. What is it about Megan that she thinks it's okay to walk on the dead graves of soldiers uh, children who've been uh, shot and killed in a school shooting and now here we are again and then in the middle of all of this she interjects herself with her alleged unaliving of herself. Megan won't even introduce her own children to their families, to their cousins and to their heritage and apart from that when she travelled from Uvalde from pardon me, California to Uvalde. Her father was just an hour down the road. Her father wants to see the grandchildren before he sees out his days. He's just turned 80 years of age. And Harry is abusing his father in the press, a man who is seriously ill with cancer. And now here they are on CBS talking to um, the loss of a child. What do they know? They don't know anything about parenting, much less losing a child, which they say it, and I know it to be true, it is the worst loss that anyone could experience. This interview is a disgrace, but it's also an embarrassment. It's a disgrace because Megan is continually given a platform to uh, for her sinister agenda. And uh, what is it? What is it? It's to be known as the People's Princess. Well, honey, that's already gone to Catherine, the Princess of Wales. You're too late. And Meghan knows exactly what she's doing. And in my opinion, it borders on criminality. So there it is. Leave your comments below. Sorry for the rant, but here endeth the rant.